Good evening and welcome to the benefits of Canterbury, St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter where you join us for our 10th uh, Advent Reflection on the Daily Gospel. The reflection today is given to us by the Reverend John Spriggs. Thank you, John. The Friend of Tax Collectors and Sinners the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 11, verses 16 to 19. But to what will I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling to one another, We played the flute for you, and you didn't dance. We wailed, and you didn't mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, he has a demon. The son of man came eating and drinking, and they say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds, or, put another way, the facts speak for themselves. Jesus was certainly not what the Jews were expecting. And remember, St Matthew was aiming his gospel primarily at the Jews. They had it all mapped out. They were expecting a Messiah who would deliver the Jewish nation from the Roman occupation and would act in full accordance with the Jewish scriptures as they understood them. Hence, they couldn't understand a Messiah who didn't act in accordance with their understanding, but instead one who emphasized the compassion and love of God as expressed in those scriptures. As far as the Jews were concerned, Jesus was merely breaking the rules. To the strictly religious Jews, keeping the commandments, that is obeying the religious rules, all 613 of them, was the whole essence of their religion. Keep the commandments, all of them, to the letter, and you are guaranteed entry into paradise. What Jesus is saying here is that it is make up your mind time. You cannot have it both ways. John came obeying the commandments and they said he was an extremist. Jesus came demonstrating understanding, love and compassion, an understanding of the spirit of the scriptures and they berated him for his laxity. Their attitude was close to, be reasonable, Lord, do it our way. And yet Jesus had the last word because the facts will speak for themselves. Yes, indeed, wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. Amen. Thank you very much, John. The Collect for Advent. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son Jesus Christ came to us in great humility, that on the last day when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. Through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And as we draw together our prayers on John's words, his reflection on the Holy Gospel, let's pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our 10th Advent Reflection. And thank you again, John, for those words. Uh, we will be back with you on... Monday morning, uh, Monday evening at six o'clock, and my colleague Jenny will be broadcasting morning prayer on Monday morning uh, at nine o'clock. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now. <laughs>